Okay, I'm recording this video uh, today so that you can uh, get the basics for how to use Vernier's graphical analysis on your Chromebook for plotting data. When you first open up the program here, uh, you're going to have some different options. Sensor data collection, data sharing, manual entry, or open saved experiments. Well, if you're entering in data that you collected at lab, you're going to want to choose manual entry. Once that opens up, you'll see this screen here. The first thing we want to do is go up to the upper left-hand corner and change the name of the experiment. Uh, you're going to want to name it whatever it is that you're working on. For my example here, I am doing a circumference data set. So you'd name it whatever the name of your experiment is. That way, if you need to come back and look at it later, it's not just some random experiment uh, number. It's the actual name of your experiment. Then to enter in your data, over here on the right-hand side, we have the data table. And by the X column, we have this column options. You click on that, and you can enter in whatever your independent variable is, which you want to plot on the X axis, which for me is diameter in centimeters. And then you can do the same thing for your dependent variable, or what's being plotted on Y, which for me is circumference. And then at that point, we're just going to be entering in the data. So enter this in here quickly. All I'm doing to move between the boxes is hitting enter. You want to make sure that you're entering in the correct information in the correct columns so that your graph turns out correct. Okay, and so there's my graph. I've got my X and Y axes labeled with the quantity and the units because I'd put that into my data table correctly and I've got my points plotted. The only thing that I'm missing to complete just the graph itself is uh, the title. So I go down to graph options, click on that, and I can name this um, same thing that I named the experiment, circumference versus diameter, close that. Now I've got a title at the top. Now that's just the completed graph, but if I want to add a line of best fit and get slope Y intercept, uh, it's also uh, pretty quick and easy. I just left click and drag across the screen and you get this box of options that shows up and under curve fit, if it is a linear line, straight line graph, then we're going to choose linear and click on done. And there's my line of best fit. And then in this box right here, we have our M, which is the slope. B is the Y intercept. And so now with that information, we could write the line equation. The generic Y equals MX plus B. Well, I've got the slope and the Y intercept. The only thing left to do to complete our graph then to put it into our uh, lab template is to go up here to export and click on download image. Once you download image, it'll save the image of your graph uh, image file to your Chromebook and then you just upload it into uh, your lab template. So that's it. Uh, if you have any uh, questions about how this process works, you can rewatch the video or you can uh, come find me during ELT.